it looks like everyone was inspired by the Easter fields this weekend because um, we've got some really beautiful, colorful pictures to be part of our story. If you want to be part of next week's project, tune in. We'll brainstorm some great story ideas, uh, and then we'll be able uh, to hand out some assignments for our drawing. Um, so without further ado, I would like to read to you the Zoo Poo Shoe Story. Poop Man's best friend and roommate was Polly the Unicorn. Polly was a very smart unicorn and knew how to make people out of her sparkly poop. That's how she made Poop Man. But she made him big enough to play dollies, not basketballs. Poop Man was sad because he wasn't tall enough to be on the Winter Pepper Zoo basketball team. The bigger animals they were afraid they'd step in unicorn poop and ruin their shoes. Unicorns only poop once a year, so it would take our friend Polly much too long to save enough poop to make to make Poop Man big in time for the championship. Polly decided she'd use her unicorn powers to grow Poop Man in a faster way. Walter the rabbit. Kyle the platypus and Ethel the pterodactyl were all sitting under the big tree when Polly arrived. I need to know your favorite food, said Polly to the three animals. Carrots! yelled Walter the rabbit. Worms! yelled Kyle the platypus. Chocolate chip cookie dodo bird ice cream! yelled Ethel the pterodactyl. With a wave of her sparkling unicorn horn, their favorite foods, yes, even the chocolate chip cookie dough bird, dodo bird ice cream, appeared in piles in front of them. Polly the unicorn held up the poop man's lucky pair of sneakers. Eat up, said Polly, by the, but there's one catch. I need you to go to the bathroom in these shoes tonight under the full moon. When the poop man puts on his shoes in the morning, this will make him grow big enough to play the championship basketball game. The rabbit, the platypus, and the pterodactyl ate all their food and fell asleep under the tree. They forgot all about the full moon because of their full bellies. That night, when the full moon was high in the sky, the zoo wolves howled wildly and woke up the sleepy animals. They each took turns going to the bathroom in Poop Man's shoes, just like Polly asked them. They couldn't believe their eyes. His shoes were glowing in the moonlight. Polly collected the shoes and thanked her animal friends. She returned to her stall and left the shoes at the end of Poop Man's bed. Poop Man awoke bright and early and decided that no matter what he was going to play the championship game, but he wasn't expecting what happened when he put on his shoes. Poop Man's shoes began to glow and soon he began to grow and grow and when he was glowing from head to toe, he began to grow and grow and grow. He was taller than any animal on the team now. The unicorn, the rabbit, the platypus, and the pterodactyl all watched the championship game against the somersault zoo. Pooh Man scored the winning slam dunk without even having to jump and transformed into a unicorn poo. When the animals returned to the big tree, they found a feast of everyone's favorite foods. A pinata that looked like 90s Baywatch heartthrob David Hasselhoff with a note. Congratulations, dinner's on me, the zookeeper. It's hard to say which made more of a mess, the pinata or the food fight, but everyone had a great time. Colorful. I had a great time reading that story. Um, 
to stay interesting, we have to come up with fresh ideas. And as I mentioned last week, um, our first story was all about magic. Uh, so we weren't going to do anything about magic. We're going to do a little bit of unicorn magic in this one, but that's understandable. Um, last week we did one about basketball and unicorns and poop. So we're not going to do a story about magic or unicorns or poop this week. Let's base this story off of a thing. So let's pick one object. One non-magical, very boring, very normal, very average thing. A Rubik's Cube. Okay, that sounds fun. Okay. Ooh, and scientist hot. Okay, so Ralph the Rat is a scientist. Like, Ariel the mermaid had known Ralph the Rat, she would have been able to be like, hey Ralph the Rat, what is this dingle hopper uh, that the seagull told me I found? And then he'd be able to tell her what it really is, right? Um, we need a name for our raccoon. What's the name of this raccoon? Dewey the raccoon. What is that? And why are you touching that? I don't, that, you can't touch that. That's dangerous. I'm very concerned. That's not safe. Don't do that. That's not safe. Not safe. Be like, oh, that stinks. It stinks. And then imagine him trying to do a stupid with his toes. Okay. Even famous in the human world. Because humans are weird like that. And they make videos of animals doing strange things. So thank you all so much. Thank you all so much. This is so great. Thanks for tuning in this week. Please join us next week for the Raccoon Rubik's Cube Caper. Tune in at LBW Creative Barracks at 3 p.m. on Tuesday afternoons to be part of the Brainstorm Storybook Session. Or check out our new video every Saturday afternoon.